My name is Romeo Shrasta. I was born in Kathmandu. As a five-year-old, I was found as a 17th reincarnation of a very well-known famous artist from the ancient times in the Himalayas. Om. When I saw so much suffering in the world, I went in search of the goddess of planet Earth. Because I believe it is the goddesses that is going to save this planet. Thus, I went in search of the most powerful women of this planet. So I met Madonna, Naomi Campbell, Charlie Theron, Diane von Furstenberg, Donna Karen, Uma Thurman, Joan Halifax, Sinead O'Connor, Marianne Faithful, many, many powerful women in search of this goddess who could solve the problem. But as I got closer to them, I realized that each single one of them had their own personal karma. So one goddess could not take the burden of the planet. So thus I visualized a thousand goddesses, thousand most powerful women of this planet coming together to make one divine voice. If you really look at it in a simple context, every single human being, including Jesus Christ or all the Buddhas, was born from the Divine Mother's womb. However, women are treated otherwise. They are used to sell a product or even they are sold as flesh in the market. As a race, if we treat the Goddess, the Divine Mother, the way we treat the women today, how can we expect peace of mind or tranquility? So one of my quests is to find a thousand goddesses that will transform this planet. Om. I walked into Cedar House one day and I confronted Su Wang. It was like a meeting of many, many lifetime. Om Tara Tu Tara Tu Tara Tu Swaha. One of the goddesses is the goddess of active compassion, Kuan Yin from China. I saw her as a human form of Kuan Yin. I have experienced nothing but compassion from her. She is so generous, so giving, so loving, and so creative. Karmically, I encountered Su Wang, and I think she's herself very beautiful, and she loves beautiful things, and she creates beautiful things. And Sue's design, I think, are beautiful because of the detail. I'm an artist myself. I'm all about details. So the beadwork she does is beautiful. And not only that, her clothing awakens the goddess in the woman 
that wears her clothes. Um, um, um. Art engulfs everything. Fashion is a form of art. Living is a kind of art. She mean art as a painting. You know, as an artist, I feel everything comes out of a brush. Even when I look at the sunset and the color changing in the sky, I visualize nature painting this scene, painting this beautiful scenery. So fashion is the same way. It's like painting the beautiful goddess or beautiful woman. All creation sprouts out of the Spirit. Unless you are in tune to your Higher Self, you cannot tap into creation. Creation happens out of your universal body, where there is infinite possibilities.